What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 87 overall player moment card, the Rami that just came out. He obviously won the stay and play cup, so he got a card in the game and he actually looks pretty decent. 92 pace, 92 dribbling, 87 shooting, 85 physical with 75 passing. One thing I'd love to improve there is probably just the shooting stats. I think everything else looks kind of good. 5 foot 11, 2 inches above meta height, but it's not going to matter too much because I've used 6 foot players and below and they've been all pretty decent medium medium work rates not the perfect attacking work rates i do prefer high medium but medium medium it just means it's not going to be making as many runs now the four star skill moves is going to allow me to do the burb spin and the standard scoop turn but the three star weak foot is clear of day the biggest killer on this card it's pretty much not going to allow me to cut onto that left foot and obviously shoot with it now he is on a hawk chem style he is on 10 chem 98 acceleration 95 sprint speed this guy is insanely fast and will be outpacing most center backs nowadays 99 attack and positioning 97 finishing with 99 shot power now he doesn't have the finesse shot trait or the outside foot shot trait which could be low-key bit of a killer but for me personally looking at those stats I think he's going to be burying everything inside the box. 70 long shots, 83 volleys and 93 penalties as well. He's got 85 vision, 80 short passing, 62 long passing, 76 curve, a 62 crossing and 62 free kick accuracy. Now I'll tell you what, the short passing and even the long passing, it just doesn't look comfortable at all. It looks like he's going to be like screwing up a lot of short passing that's what i'm expecting from him and it could be low-key a killer especially with that three star weak foot as well now he's got 99 agility and 99 balance 70 reactions 86 ball control 96 dribbling and 70 composure i was expecting this guy to take a very nice touch but calm and composed on the ball could be a bit of a problem now the best chem styles for him is hawk or sniper i've decided to go with hawk today but if he feels like you know he's re not reacting fast enough i will try to put a sniper chem style on him to see if anything anything can improve that now he's got 99 jumping him being 5 foot 11 he will be out heading i would say 6 foot 1 maybe pushing 6 foot 2 and below 83 stamina i believe is is enough for a striker maybe he'll die near like the 85th minute but that's not going to matter too much he's got 91 strength which means bodying players shouldn't be a problem and 88 aggression just means he's going to be making faster but at the same time win more 50 50s now today i have linked him up with his teammate because this guy is in a very very weird league and He's national nationality. There's not many good players from that nationality. So I had to link him up with a hyperlink. So I believe it's called Fisher. I'm not sure. All my Denmark fans let me know in the comment section. But I've also got the likes of Neymar and uh, St. Maximum next to him. I will be using Dorami in a 4-4-2. Obviously playing him up front. But I also want to try him in that lone striker role. So I will be playing him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get straight into these games. Now, the first thing we always do at the start of our reviews is just check how agile someone is on the ball. And I'll tell you what, he actually feels really, really nice. It's something that I did expect with that 99 agility. But the 70 reactions, I thought was going to let him down. That is beautiful. All the way back stick. That guy did the offside trap at the wrong moment. Little triangle passes. And Dharami is sitting there right at the back stick just to get an easy finish off beautiful base look at that man he's completely clear the guy is going to bring out a keeper i'm just going to ball roll him and that should be a guaranteed finish but i clear of they took too long to finish it and that is why you don't shoot with his weaker foot because that three star weak foot i understand he was obviously under pressure but for me personally if you're like a top top tier player he finishes that all day oh that's such a good pass saying that how low he's uh his short passing is like 80 short passing i don't expect those little flicks in behind we were super unfortunate obviously not to score there but really good touch from him that's a beautiful one too can i get a finish super super unfortunate really good shot power from him to be fair the accuracy was low-key there as well but this was just an amazing save from van der Sar, and i don't think that's ever gonna go in against him Little past you. Drag back. Hill to hill. Get the angle. It should be a finish because that is a guaranteed goal angle. And without a doubt, with his finishing ability and he's obviously his power, a shot power, sorry, it's going to go into the back of the net. And it's a really, really nice like twist and turn past Rio Ferdinand. A little hill to hill to get the angle. Beautiful finish. Little turn. Beautiful. Little roulette. Can I get a little layoff as well? Now, I 100% agree. I should not have done the roulette, most likely, because it didn't really create him an angle. But do you see he's dribbling there? Keeping it very calm and composed, keeping it very nice, close to his feet. Little turn. 
Half drag back, pass away. Simple as that. Keep going. Really good strength from him. Full roll. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. Come on now. Do you see his agility? The little bull roll to get the angle straight past the player. Really, really good strength from him as well to bozzy off that defender. That I didn't really mean to. And now we're getting apparently a, a little face cam from him apparently. But it was a really nice goal either way. The little slot, the finesse shot into the far corner. Oh, that little touch and turn was really, really bad. One thing I am starting to notice is he's dribbling. When it comes to tight angles, yes, he is very agile. He reacts really fast. But when it's more of like a calm and composed moment where no one's really around him and he's got the time in the world, he like takes a really, really bad touch. And then I try to take like a really fast touch after that to, be, you know, keep it calm and just keep it close to his feet. And then he reacts really, really slow. There you go. Little burber spin. Get the angle. Bull roll. Ah, I shouldn't have done the bull roll. I did the bull roll when there was no need to do it. Really disappointing for me. But I tell you what. I was forced into clicking LB so he can actually make a run. And that's why I don't really like the medium medium up top. Because that's what I need to do. That could be a finish though. Yes, it is. A beautiful footwork. I loved his positioning there as well. Like he was just sitting in front of the center back. Really good touch and turn with that beautiful finish. But as I was saying, I am forced to click LB to tell him to make a run because sometimes he doesn't make the run and there is like a wide open run pretty much. And I want him to make it, but he just doesn't do it automatically. Oh, the bit of a luck, I tell you that. Little standing hook, little hill to hill. Can I get a beautiful pass towards Saint Maximum as well? He's doing that round bow thing. You have to understand that. He's not like some any other player, like I don't know, some random player from the Premier League, some random player from the Bundesliga. This is bow thing. The flashback bow thing. I think it's 91 overall. With that I've actually put in the S in the tier list videos. That's how good this guy is at dribbling. He's making bow thing look silly. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Little heel to heel with the left foot. Mm, come on now. That three-star weak foot coming into play once again. It's super, super annoying that he can't shoot with both feet. Because the, even that, if that's a, like a full-star weak foot at least, that's going into the back of the net. But let's actually try a near post header with this guy. Because he has got amazing jumping. So why not at the end of the day? Let's see if he can win it. He's on to the end of it. Oh my god. He leaped up so high. It was ridiculous. But Van der Sar, no one's, no one's out headering him. Little one-two. Cut onto the right foot. Go for the finesse shot. Beautiful finish. I'm telling you, this guy, when it comes down to finishing, you can't get any better. You really can't. He is slotting it left, right, and center. Bottom bins, top bins. No matter where it goes, it's going into the back of the net. So we actually have got a free kick here. And let's see what he can do on the free kick. Now, he hasn't got the greatest free kick, actually, as far as I remember. Yeah, 62. So it's not great. But let's see if we can actually hit... Let's see if we can actually hit it top bins. Aiming this side. Little green timed. It is going to go top bins and that's how we're going to do it. He moved the keeper. He suffers. That's all I'm going to say. So it is time to review him and let me say 30k for this card. I would definitely advise you guys to go and pick it up because it's only 30k at the end of the day. And he can be used as an amazing super sub because unless you have icons around him. I don't think anyone's going to get anyone from the Denmark League. And if I'm rating him through league-wise and how good he is, you know, to connect people with, he's probably like a 2 out of 10. But we're not here to do that. We're here to actually see the player and see how he plays in-game. And I must say, finishing out of this world, when it comes to dribbling as well, he feels really, really good, like, when he's under pressure. But when he's not under pressure, he starts taking these weird kind of touches and... And then I tried to turn like really sharp with him and then his reaction doesn't come into play perfectly. And that is like something I was struggling with a little bit. But let's go through these stats one more time and I'll pretty much say if the stats really tell the truth. 5 foot 11, no problem with that at all. The medium, medium work rate, I actually had to call him for a few times to actually make a run because he kept coming short so often. Now, for me personally, I don't mind someone coming short, but it's one of those occasions where if they come short so, so often... 
you're gonna kind of get annoyed because you're never really going anywhere you're not really going for like a counter attack and Dorami, he's definitely one of those players that you have to click lb to actually tell him to make a run the four star skill moves the hill to hill hands down my favorite skill move with him simply because it was super super fast he kept it very nice and close to his feet as well beautiful ball control this guy has the three star weak foot hands down the biggest killer it has to be he's finishing on that weaker foot i would advise not power shotting it with power shotting with it i would advise finessing with it because with the finesse it goes higher up and the accuracy is better rather than if i was like clicking b with it the shot power is not the greatest especially on a weaker foot and it goes in the straight line and most likely it goes into the keeper now pace wise he's insanely fast and he was outpacing a lot of center backs he was giving boateng the flashback card a run for his money finishing wise as i said unbelievable with the right foot when it comes as i said when it comes to the left foot you're gonna have to finish short or something like that because the power shots don't go in with his left foot passing wise it was actually quite surprising simply because it was like really nice to little do like to do the little one twos but when it came to over the top in the ball that's when you have to calm it down a little bit because he cannot do those over top through balls dribbling as i said feels amazing on the ball when he's under pressure he just like turns really really quick and into these angles my opponent does not expect but when he's not under pressure which makes zero sense by the way he starts taking these bad touches and I try to make him turn faster and then his reaction doesn't come into play. It's kind of annoying time to time, but I can 100% seeing this guy as being an amazing super sub. 83 stamina. He did actually last throughout like until like the 80th minute, which was quite a surprise for me because I didn't... I expect him to last for like the 80th probably, but he lasts for like the 85th and above and... It, I feel like it's more of the medium medium work rates more than anything simply because he's not making as many runs so he's saving a lot of stamina now the 99 jumping I actually hit it to him on a near post corner and his leap was ridiculous but but van der Sar, you know he's gonna he's gonna have his hands up and he's always gonna catch it over everyone possible now the strength wise this guy was boarding off players left right and center he was as i said he was giving boateng a run for his money he was out strengthening boateng he was the aggression low key i love as well about him because the aggression made him win so many 50 50s into like the shoulder to shoulder barge it was insane now i have to give him a rating out of 10 and i did enjoy him i did enjoy him a lot so I am going to give him, I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10 because that is something I feel like he deserves. I don't feel like he deserves a 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 because you only can shoot with one foot with this guy and like the reaction speed and composure is not great as well, as well. God, I like that. Uh, pretty much a voice crack there. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the review, leave a like, leave a comment and for now, peace.